In this video, uh, we're going to learn some text uh, effects. All right, so we, uh, we're using again the uh, same source code of the uh, different span. So first, uh, we're going to uh, populate both the Facebook and the Apple divs with some text. So we want only uh, text, so no paragraphs and no spans. OK, so let's just Copy paste. Okay. Okay, we're gonna move to the Apple uh, div uh, in a bit once we are done with the Facebook one. So now, as we can see, uh, the text uh, in the Facebook div is um, overflowing, and we're gonna play a little bit with a few uh, text effects so that we can understand how we can. Uh, control uh, how our text is uh, displayed inside the uh, the div uh, or outside the div. So the first uh, property we're gonna use here is the overflow property. So we want this overflowing text to disappear. So the uh, this property needs to be set to uh, hidden and now we don't see any text overflow. Okay? Also uh, we mentioned that the uh, text is uh, wrapped by default, okay? So uh, inside the div. And if we don't want that, there is a property, which is the white space property. And we can set that to no wrap. And basically the text now is not wrapped anymore. Okay? All right. So another useful property we can uh, use here is to make this broken word disappear. So we want to show the user that we've got some text following using some dots in there. So the property we're going to be using here is text overflow. And we can set that to ellipsis. And now uh, we don't see that uh, next word anymore. So we only see those dots telling us that there is still text uh, following. And if we want to see what's happening there, we can just uh, change the width of the uh, window and we can see some more text. All right. Now let's move to the Apple div. But be before we do that, let's add another uh, property. So now if we want to make the overflow visible when we hover over the uh, the div, how are we going to do that? So we're going to need to uh, set a new style for the blue box class. So, so we're going to say dot blue box class colon and then hover. So we're telling the uh, browser, so if the user hovers on the uh, blue box class, then change the overflow to visible. Okay. So now if we hover on the Facebook div, all the overflow becomes visible. But due to the no wrap property, we still not seen this property very well, but now it's pretty clear that when we hover on the Facebook div, the uh, overflowing text uh, appears. Okay. All right. So now let's move to the Apple uh, div. And this time, okay, let's also let's populate the Apple div with some text. But before we do that, we're going to change the width. So rather than having an auto width, we want a limited width. Let's go for 400 pixels, for instance. And now let's um, add some text to the Apple div. Okay. And let's have a word, a long word. Okay, let's have long
apple and let's have another long word this time let's make it really long okay so what's happening here so we can see that the uh, text is uh, overflowing okay uh, this time we're going to use some other properties to control how text uh, is displayed so the first one is going to be the word break and we're going to use this property to be able to break the line even between two letters okay so the reason why we had a line break there is because this word is too long but we couldn't break it but now we're going to uh, set this property of word break to break all and now we can see that this word is broken so you can see that it's broken between the letter uh, l and the uh, letter e all right uh, if we don't want to um, break words, we can just set it to keep all. And now uh, we're not breaking, we don't have any line breaks between uh, two letters. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of, this, of these properties for now and let's try something else. So now, um, if we look at this long word here, we want, want to find a way to wrap this word and break it so the property we're going to need for that is going to be word wrap and this time we want to break the word so we're going to say break word so what we've seen here first of all we're wrapping this word and also the word is not overflowing anymore so it's uh it gets broken there between two letters okay and the also we can set the uh, overflow to uh, hidden just to avoid any text overflowing of the box 